Hello, Morphin app, so animation. So this is uh, no Nomad's Cult tutorial, it's only Morphin app. So it's about IK, inverse kinematic. So as I said, I'm an absolute beginner, but I try to explain uh, how it works in the Morphin app. So here, Morphin app and Sorry, I have always to press with the finger. Um, I create a new scene here and I import um, a test object. So, and the test object gets a little bit of different color like this. So, this is our leg. So I changed the view to autographic. And sorry, I have to activate the gesture and the, all the time I have to do it. So when we want to animate the leg, so we need bones. So I'm adding a rig. So this is the first rig bone. So I place this bone here somewhere here. I rotate it downwards so that the di direction um, goes from the yeah, from this point to the knee. And so we need to scale only the purple ring for scaling. So maybe like this. And then we need a child bone for this. So press add child bone so a little bit rotation like this and here and for the foot we need a also a child bone like this so this is um, a chain so bone one is a child, uh, bone one is a parent, this is a child bone and another child bone. You see it here, um, here in the hierarchy, um, the, yeah, the order of the things. And so, and now we need um, a single bone somewhere here in space. So I use now the add single bone and this bone here, So I place it somewhere here outside. So this bone here is like a target for the knee um, that, uh, yeah, that the direction is towards this um, bone. I hope you understand. Okay, so fine, more is not possible. So uh, if some people ask, um, can I add here helper bones and so on? No, at the moment not. So only such a, a rig or a skeleton is possible and IK. So now I connect the, the leg. So, so I tap on the, on the leg, select here the leg. tap here on the mode here and now I can bind the skeleton to the mesh. So auto weight. Okay. So now we when we tap on a on a bone we can rotate our leg. And this is not IK, this is FK forward kinematic so oops so like this okay and for the ik there's here an option ik so i press here on this and here's a menu so i make a screenshot so we have here an effector and the effector is always the last bone. Nah, not always. 
yeah bone in the chain so chain you can also set this bone as a effector so and this bone here is the pole target so here is the direction of the knee <laughs> i hope you understand what i'm drawing here so i clear this so this bone is selected and this bone becomes the effector so now here sh here's bone three so now i select this bone and set the pole target at the moment there is none so i press on it now it's bone four so it's also possible here to show the bone labels so then you see here bone four bone three okay so now we have our effector our pole target so and here's a checkbox to link the pole to the target so i use this checkbox i'm yeah ha this settings i don't know um, and here's a chain length uh, it's about how many bones you have you can here ch change the chain length i'll show it in a few seconds and then here apply the ik so then such such a box here appears and this is yeah the ik box so now it's possible when you pick here um, maybe uh, this uh, plane here so then then the whole thing works here like this so here you can yeah do such animations so when you change here the um, sorry not like this ah sometimes so when you change it the position of the pole target so here in this direction and you pick here the the yeah the ik then it goes crazy so then yeah I hope you understand. You have to play a little bit with this thing. So, yeah. Okay. So, I start quick a new scene. So, so maybe let's add a rig. So this is bone one and I create a few child bones. One child bone, two, three, four, four, so maybe five. So we have now um, one, two, three, four, five, six bones. And this is, here starts the chain and here it ends so and here is start so one two three four five and this one becomes a effector and then we have one two three four and this is the last one five so and then we set the ik so this bone is active set effector bone six okay and then the ik so we we need uh, at the moment no uh, pole target or such an extra bone so it's about the, um, the chain length so i try it with apply ik so now you see so only uh, two bones 
are affected. The other three ones are yeah not not moving. So we have to change the chain length. So I start again. It's the best always to start again. So add child bones. One, two, three, four, five. So now IK set the effector and chain length one, two, three, four. Apply IK. So now all the bones act with this thing. So this is everything I know so far about the IK thing. Um, there are sure experts somewhere um, who can tell more about this and yeah. So that's it. Have fun with animation and ciao.